this is a world directory of the radical right published in uh, Great Britain. Um, it has an entry in here on the National Alliance uh, and uh, on me. And it says, uh, Pierce is one of the senior figures of the American ultra-right. We've, we've had a wet spring uh, this year, and uh, the weeds around here have gotten out of control. Dr. Pierce is of a Nazi mindset. Many people uh, call us uh, racists. They call us uh, hate mongers. He uh, uh, was still somewhat involved indirectly with uh, what's left of the Aryan nations and somewhat with the KKK. Just for the record, I am involved in the National Alliance, but the National Alliance has no connection whatsoever with the Ku Klux Klan or the Aryan Nations. And so far as I know, there's no network. Uh, and the National Alliance has never been involved in terrorism or any other illegal activity. For a tiny community like Arlington, West Virginia, and for Dale Small Sheriff's Department, the arrival of Pierce and his gang of neo-Nazis came as quite a shock. We told you government informants say Pierce got several hundred thousand dollars from West Coast armored car robberies committed by neo-Nazi terrorists on the West Coast, and that Pierce used that money to set up his West Virginia complex. They seem to think that if they tell a big enough whopper and repeat it often enough, that the average citizen will believe it. I'm supposed to be receiving money from bank robberies and planning to launch some sort of a nuclear war uh, against the uh, country. He is following the philosophy, the goals, and the actions of his mentor, Adolf Hitler. I'm supposed to have an ambition to be a new Hitler. Uh, my novel, The Turner Diaries, it's supposed to be a blueprint for my takeover of the country. Federal investigators say Pierce's book, The Turner Diaries, is seen by neo-Nazi terrorist organizations as the Bible of the far right. The Order members viewed him as their spiritual father. They took his book, The Turner Diaries, as their gospel and as basically as their battle plan for what they were trying to accomplish, which was the racist revolution in the United States. Today, that splinter group, the Order, is long dead. A Seattle jury convicted 10 Order members, 12 others pleaded guilty. Testimony in the Seattle racketeering case consistently pointed in one direction, Washington, D.C., and consistently pointed at one person, William Pierce. The uh, Jewish organization has put out the story that I'm a dangerous terrorist, that instead of being the, the mild-mannered uh, minister, writer of occasional novels and former university professor that I pretend to be. I'm really a sort of evil Dr. No. to deny any of these rumors because to most people that is simply a confirmation. <laughs> I'm William Pierce. I'm the founder and the organizer of the Cosmotheist Community Church. My name is Olga Pierce. I am Dr. William Pierce's wife. And I am Martha Agnes Keys. 
I am living here on a property about uh, three years with a cosmetics community church and I'm helping my husband with his work, with his correspondence and uh, I'm helping him uh, doing other small chores and Marta helping him mostly of the construction works. Fine, that's enough. You don't want to knock it in too far. In the Cosmotheist Community Church, we wanted to uh, establish a new community. It's often difficult to coax the kind of people that we need away from the affluent lifestyle uh, in the big city and get them out here uh, where they uh, have to uh, use a pick and shovel and a hammer and saw. So we, we grow rather slowly because we've only got three households out here now. And I, 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 feel, uh, I feel almost apologetic in talking about that. So. William Pierce is trying to, to perpetuate the Nazi ideology, the racist ideology. And I think that is so evident in, in all of the things that he has done, from his first days in the American Nazi Party to his community now in West Virginia. I love all the people. They are so nice to us. None of them, none of them have any negative feelings toward us. The most beautiful people I ever met in my entire life, they are living here, right here in Hillsboro, Marlington, Louisburg, in West Virginia. That's the most beautiful place I ever saw. Dr. Pierce is simply emulating Adolf Hitler. He's got women there to breed them. He is trying to emulate the, the Nazi concept, the Hitlerian concept of breeding a perfect race. Although I, I do not know what he's doing with the women, I must assume that his concept is to use these women to breed what he considers a, a perfect race. That is obviously the antipathy of feminism, of freedom, uh, of, of, of democracy. Uh, but again, it's all assumption. I think you have to ask Dr. Pierce what he's doing with these women on his property. He said something about that to every reporter that he's talked to in the last five years. Uh, he tells them, ask Dr. Pierce what he's doing with all those women up there. I am like working here and I am doing be here. Good. And I'm enjoying be here. I'm enjoying be here. I am enjoying be here. Living here. Living doing here. living here. Mm. Doing living here. Okay. I am like work here and I am doing living here. Good. You're one time. Pierce looks at women as instruments to be used. The way I see that he looks at women, they're just kind of second-class human beings. Maybe a step up from the blacks and, and Jews, but uh, uh, somewhat on the, maybe a step up from them. I met my husband uh, uh, by a mutual friend and his ideas and his beliefs uh, uh, kind of match mine. Race of beauty, race of light, I will strive to build my might. Dreams of
I do not know within Protestantism, with, within Catholicism, within Judaism, within any of the major religions, a subgroup, a subcategory called cosmotheist community. As a matter of fact, I can't understand what in the world cosmotheist community means. It seems to me that's, I don't know, space god or something. I can't really comprehend it. Christianity is, is basically a supernatural religion. It depends upon revelation. Uh, the Cosmotheist Community Church uh, is based on natural religion. It does not depend on revelation. It does not involve supernatural authority, but only natural authority. We, we see our purpose as the, the service of the life force. Noble blood, so precious mine, keep the According to records on file in the state of Virginia, Pierce is the only ordained minister of the Cosmotheist Church. In fact, he founded it, but former National Alliance recruiter and government informant Tom Martinez doesn't believe that Pierce has found religion. So Pierce is an atheist? Oh, he definitely is an atheist. And the majority of the members are atheists, too. Then what's the Cosmotheist Church? It's a front for tax exemption. <laughs> That's what it is. My most pressing concerns today, for white Americans in particular, are losing their sense of racial identity. And one can see that in the increasing racial intermarriage. What worries me a lot is the unchecked tide of non-white immigration into this country, both legal and illegal. Now that uh, is what is really breeding disaster. White Americans need to be concerned about these things. They need to be concerned about what these things are doing to their own people. Seeming foes who skewed thy path Quell before thy wakening wrath Race of beauty, race of light I will strive to build thy might That is a guttural belch of their anti-Semitism and they again try to scapegoat Jews. The B'nai B'rith is an un-American and an anti-American organization and it deliberately misleads the people by feeding lies to the news media. And I look forward to the day when the American people will rise up and sweep the B'nai B'rith and all of the politicians that the B'nai B'rith has bought into the trash bin of history. We will save the white race! Sing ho! 21 years ago, Pierce came to the Washington area to apprentice under George Lincoln Rockwell. The founder of the American Nazi Party. When Rockwell was assassinated in a Northern Virginia shopping mall, Pierce, a one-time physics professor, founded his own Nazi organization, the National Alliance. The news media have uh, most often characterized me as a Nazi as a Nazi terrorist. I've never used that word to uh, describe myself. A potential neo-Nazi terrorist training center located just hours from the nation's capital. And they call me many, uh, many different things. I don't know whether they have uh, called me uh, a separatist or not, but uh, that's the way I view myself. The friction that uh, has developed in this country between uh, various racial groups is a result of uh, forcing them together. In the case of the, the blacks, I think that if they were allowed to seek their own destiny in Africa, that we would have no quarrel with them and they would have no quarrel with us. I think that pretty well uh, sums up my views uh, as a separatist. There were a lot of different types of people involved in the National Alliance, a lot of different types of people responding 
to the National Alliance's message. The message of the National Alliance is, is pretty much concerned with uh, social, uh, cultural, uh, racial, and political issues uh, confronting uh, white Americans today. The National Alliance is somewhat a mysterious group made up of members of the KKK, Aryan Nations, uh, maybe some offshoots from the uh, order. Uh, people basically that feel that uh, blacks and Jews and Hispanic folks are, are subhuman individuals. So basically that would be the National Alliance. Uh, the National Alliance uh, is not especially concerned with uh, making a public splash, with publicity stunts, or even with distributing flyers. The National Alliance is looking for people who can do things. Uh, we're looking for, for special individuals. Mostly we're interested in professionals. Uh, some white-collar professionals, some blue-collar professionals. Uh, people who can write, people who are good at fundraising, uh, people who are good editors, uh, people in the universities who can help us recruit other people. Uh, we're looking for, for special individuals. We will save, we will save, we will save, we will save the white race! Dr. William Pierce's philosophy of dealing with blacks, of dealing with Jews, and I suggest of dealing with Japanese, is lining them up against the wall and killing them all. That's obvious from the Turner Diaries. The thing which has attracted a lot more public attention than our church here has been the fact that I wrote a, a book, uh, The Turner Diaries, uh, using the, uh, the pen name uh, Andrew MacDonald. It is a novel, it is a scenario of the takeover of America by white supremacists. It starts by hanging blacks and Jews in the streets. It then goes on to the point of nuclear weaponry, wherein the white supremacists take over the world for an Aryan society. That novel is probably the most violent, vicious, racist document that I have ever read. The FBI has labeled the Turner Diaries as a manual of hatred. Liberals in the news media likewise have condemned it and called it the Bible of right-wing extremists. The Turner Diaries is probably the most controversial book in America. If the government had the power to ban books, the Turner Diaries would be at the top of the list. That, I think, is a generally uh, accurate uh, statement. We would rather stand up here and talk to a hundred people who hate us than a thousand who don't care. The summer of 1983 in Idaho and the pro-Nazi organization, the Aryan Nations, is holding a rally in a park. When protesters arrive, a young lumberjack steps forward to shout down on the hecklers. Black, Latin, Asian. Hey, why don't you Jews get the heck out of here? I didn't come all the way down here to hear you. Go over there. Within a year, Robert Matthews' anger had turned from pushing matches to gunfire. Go ahead. Matthew soon gathered around him a violent splinter group of the Aryan Nations Church. Young men fascinated with the idea of a war against Jews and other minorities. Taking their battle plans from Pierce's book, The Turner Diaries, Order members began the revolution by robbing an armored car at the Seattle shopping center. In Ukiah, California came the big hit. A $3.5 million robbery of another Brinks truck. By the time Matthews died in a fire, following a shootout with police in Seattle, he had led 23 fellow Nazis on a terrorist spree which included a series of armored car robberies, the murder of a Jewish radio talk show host, and a multi-million dollar counterfeiting ring. Dr. Pierce was a close friend of Robert Matthews. Of course, Robert Matthews was involved in the armored car robbery and later had a shootout with the FBI where he, he was killed. Matthews saw Pierce as, as his hero. Bob Matthews was a good man who um, was convinced that he had to take action against the people 
uh, who are destroying America, the people that um, pose a threat to the future of the white race worldwide. Meanwhile, other money from the order robberies reportedly went to right-wing extremists, the organization to support it, such as former Michigan Klan leader Robert Miles. When Tom Martinez, working as an informant, met with Matthews at this Portland motel just before a shootout with the FBI, Martinez got the word Pierce had been well taken care of. He knew that I had not much love for William Pierce, and uh, he said, Tom, I'm going to tell you something. He says, I know you might get upset about it, he says, but... Uh, I gave Pierce a lot of money. Other witnesses say Pierce got as much as $200,000, maybe more. More than $3 million in those robberies has never been recovered. The whole thing is one implication after another that way. Part of it, uh, stuff that's, that's provably wrong, and part of it, stuff where I can't, can't really prove that it's wrong, but it's, it's simply misleading. If one asks, what, what was the purpose of the Turner Diaries. Uh, it was to uh, provide uh, a fictional medium for certain ideas that I think are very important. Pierce claimed that the Turner Diaries is a fictional account, but uh, if you look at his writings historically for 20, 25 years and then read the Turner Diaries, it's right in tune with what he's been writing about for all these years. So it's not something that he just one day sat down and with his typewriter and typed the stuff up. It's, it's his belief. It's his philosophy. It's his way of life. Well, we never caught up with the elusive Dr. Pierce. He made a rear public appearance at last summer's Aryan Nations Conference in Hayden Lake, Idaho. Each year, former Michigan Klan leader Robert Miles and others gather to press for an Aryans-only United States. It's easy to tell what groups some represent. Others wear unmarked battle fatigues as a burning cross illuminates the northwest sky. What you see tonight, what you experience tonight, you will never in your lifetime forget. And staying in the shadows, as always, is William Pierce, arguably the far right's most reclusive leader. The, the whole thing, I gave talks at um, this Aryan Nations thing, and I gave another talk uh, at um, Bob Miles Free Association Forum in uh, Michigan. Uh, one, one talk at each place. I've only spoken once, once at each place. I've only, only been to, to each place one time. Uh, and yet the implication is that there is a, is a tie-in. Um, and, and that's not so. I mean, I don't want to criticize these, these other people because I share a lot of their feelings. Uh, I, I don't do things in the same way. I, I don't, I don't sh share their tactics generally. I'm, I'm a much less flamboyant person, and I, I don't hold public rallies, and I don't burn crosses, and, and, and so on. So I don't want to, I don't want to criticize these people and try to distance myself from them. But the implication that Scott Klug makes is false. That I'm somehow tied into a network. In fact, he started this thing off, the. The, the Nazi network or something like that. And that's, that's simply not, not true. This uh, sequence is an effort to uh, create a, a specter, a boogeyman, uh, to, uh, to create in the minds of the TV viewing public that there is a dangerous network of revolutionary organizations, well-armed, well-financed, very violent, uh, that pose a threat to every law-abiding uh, American. It simply isn't so. There are a lot of threats. <laughs> there are a lot of threats in this country, but the threat of of, um, of white revolution is is way way down on the on the scale uh, these days. And uh, there, there's 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 no network. There's no conspiracy, uh, and there's very little violence of any sort coming from white racists. He's violence by this, by writing. See, he's the man who'll sit back in his little commune and write the uh, propaganda in the National Vanguard and his National Alliance bulletins and put out Turner's diaries and whatever. And there's that poor guy like sitting in a, in a, on a farm who's losing his farm out in uh, Nebraska or out in Washington or Idaho who feels 
from reading this, the government, the Jews, the blacks, these are the people that are hurting him. These are the people that are going to go out and grab the guns and start doing violence. My books, my writing generally has had more influence perhaps on the thinking of the white resistance in this country. The Turner Diaries certainly has gotten a lot of publicity, and I think it has uh, had an effect on the thinking of many other people. I hope that my new book, Hunter, will have an effect on the thinking of a lot of people. I try to uh, express my thoughts uh, in a way that will make them uh, understandable and appealing to uh, as many other people uh, as possible. Um, and if I've had any success in this, then I'm gratified. I will continue in the future to uh, strive in the same direction. The number of these neo-Nazis, these white supremacists in the United States, probably five to seven hundred. Seven hundred is a high. When you look at the population of the United States being a quarter of a billion plus, it's an extremely small number. Pierce will never talk to you about numbers. We don't ordinarily talk about uh, those uh, things, and so probably we shouldn't get into that area of, uh, of questioning. If we look at the right-wing white supremacist hate movement in the United States, the numbers year after year after year become smaller and smaller. People aren't haters. People realize that human beings are human beings. Dr. Pierce, unfortunately, has not reached that level. Dr. Pierce still hates. He can recruit people to his, quote, community, but it's, it's not a mass migration. It's not a mass movement because the American public is not accepting racism, bigotry, and the genocide that Dr. Pierce pontificates. There were times during the uh, 1980s when I wondered whether or not organizations like the uh, B'nai B'rith uh, are so much more powerful than we are that, uh, that we're just overwhelmed, that there's no chance of, uh, of beating them. And I suppose that there are some times that, uh, that I've felt uh, that it was a lonely battle that we are waging. Uh, I think, however, that uh, the wind is shifting. I do think that the 1990s are going to be different. Uh, I can feel a, um, a growing response to uh, what we have been saying for many years now. And I think that the, uh, the 1990s will uh, find many more people uh, listening to us and thinking about what we have to say. We will save the white race! Race of beauty, race of light, I will strive to build thy might, dreams of age.